Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. Today, I've got Doug Peterson here. See how I rolled with yeah, that? I know. To forget. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, um, that's the problem. Um, so, me and Doug are going to create a rusty nail. Yes. So we're going to do simple drink, low ball glass, two things. What are we doing? Rusty nails? Yeah, don't step on those. We're doing. Uh, or if you do, at least have your tetanus shot yes. up right. to date. Every 10 years, people. Every 10 years. Or you never step, know. Or if you step on a rusty nail. You yeah, know. you never know when you're you going to do that. You know what? I've never I'm... needed a tetanus shot because I'm always cutting myself or something and end up getting them within 10 years' time. Oh, yeah. I dropped a, one of those big knives through my foot. Yep. And they gave me one. Yeah. But I was I already had one because yeah. I had cut myself prior. Well, right before she cuts she herself I came back up yeah, here, considering the work that I was going to be doing, I was like, it's probably going to be a good time to go ahead and get my tetanus shot. Wait, because you were doing a porn? <laughs> No, that, that's not a technician. No. <laughs> <laughs> because I was going to be... <laughs> but now that you mentioned it, uh, it may not be a no. bad line of Working work. uh, construction type stuff, you know, when there's lots of rusty shit and oh, sharp yeah. objects all around you constantly. Yes, yeah, true. It seemed like a prudent decision. It's prudent. Yep. Because I know that if I didn't, I like the word. something would have already happened to me. Word of the day. Prudent. Prudent? Yeah. Okay. See, I don't think I could work construction because I would no doubt put a nail through my hand or... <laughs> yeah. Something. Well, the thing is, you, you try to be aware of where everything is generally yeah. at at all times, and so. You want to know what we're making? A rusty, rusty nail. nail. Yep. It's so an ounce well, and a half of scotch. Ounce and a half scotch. Half ounce of drambuie. Half ounce of drambuie. Amps. And this is like a honey, <clears throat> like a honey, honey uh, scotch. Honey so, boo. No, it's like, no, no, no. It's honey not scotch. like a honey boo boo. So you're basically taking scotch. You're taking a honey-fied sweetened scotch. You're putting a lot of ice in a glass. You're going to give it a stir. Yep. Use your favorite scotch. I was going to use a single malt, but as I was saying before the show, I went to a party and everybody drank it. Where did you get that stir? Yeah. Uh, I forgot all there's my a, oh. Yeah, there's a box of them. Yeah. yeah. Then you're going to take a lemon. Oh. Whoa. You're going to take a lemon it, uh, twist. Zested on you. Zest it. Shot out in every direction. It, it did. really cool. Looking. Yeah. It like something hot. like from Stargate SG-1. Right. Right. In slow-mo. Yeah. And then, so now I have espresso oils. I left a little of the white pith under there so it stays. Throw it right in there. Do we need that? Is that you in your fridge? Yeah. The, the oils. It's like anal gland. That's so gross. Anal <laughs> gland. So, you're done. It's that easy. Classic 19 somethings. I really, you know what? I'm making a stand right now. Next time I do a classic drink, I'm going to have some sort of history behind why it's classic. Really? Because I don't know why. I can't remember. I read it all and then I forget. Mm. Or I read it and then I say it and it's all wrong because it's. I do you want to maybe words. tag team something like that and you can pick the cocktail and I'll do the research? That'd be easier. Yeah. Because I'm already picking the cocktails anyway. Yeah, and I love doing the research. Well, what the hell? Why aren't you telling me what's in the rusty now? Or why? It's called that. Oh, it's a, and you, if you do a. I think it's called a um, straight up nail yeah. if you don't like ice. It would just be these two ingredients. Okay. You're up. Europe. Um, so, out of the different bourbons, or bourbons, out of the different scotches, I went with Johnny Walker Black because I kind of like it. It's got a lot of oakiness to it. Yep. And had it been, I would have gone with, if I could have had a single malt that wasn't consumed completely, I probably would have went with the Highland Park 16, but since that's gone, yeah. um, I don't know if that's even worthwhile to do, but... This is a rusty nail. If you go and you order a rusty nail at a place that knows what the hell you're talking about, so that's the first problem. Yeah. Then you're probably going to get Johnny Walker Black or something in that. I'm trying to think of another. What's another scotch you might see at a bar? I Doors. Mean, oh, yeah, that's over there. So Doors White Label. Um, yeah, that's true. And there's a couple of them like that. Maybe um, Scoresby's is a bad idea. We don't talk about that. Oh, Cuddy Sark, you might see that. I've seen that a couple times. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I have those. But I liked out and of those. Generally, I'm you know, most bars will have something like um, Glenlivet or Glenfiddich. This is true. That's true because we've went through a bottle once. Added. But I don't necessarily know that they would use that for for this. No, no. Unless you add, if you said I want a rust nail with Glenfiddich, then you'd probably get yeah that yeah. I would hope yeah yeah. But what do you think? It's got a nice citrus smell to it because that that espressed yeah lime lemon. The lemon. The lemon definitely does that for the aroma. Like, the taste itself, I mean, it tastes good, really good. It, the thing that I'm most surprised about is you can actually, you can distinguish the the um, Johnny Walker and the Jambouille. You get a you, sweet bourbon. I mean, a sweet, why do I keep saying that? Sweet scotch, honey. Yeah. Like a honey scotch. It's almost like a Tennessee honey. 
with whiskey, but in scotch form, with this. So it's almost like bringing a bourbon, an oaky bourbon, say a Maker's Mark maybe, or Forty Creek, to um, a Honey Jack Daniels or a Wild Turkey Honey, American Honey, kind of that same thing, but on the islands. But the um, oaky, smoky, peaty thing actually happens at the same time mm -hmm. as, as the sweetness, which I think is really interesting. But they don't clash. No, they actually stay on separate parts of, right. of your mouth, which is bizarre. They're kind of fighting for first. Yeah. It's weird. It's, yeah, it's it's interesting. Smooth, easy to drink. The Definitely need I'd the twist. Kill those. I, I'm going to, yeah. I got to fill it back up so we can take a photo. Oh, nice. I have to. And then we have to drink it again. I know. Sucks for us, people. Yeah. But that garnish, us. if you What we do for you. Yeah, I know. This is, this is a tough job. It is. So, use the garnish. Uh, if you want to know how to cut it, I didn't bring up a, well, here's, I have this for the shooter this week, but what you do is you take a half a, le a half a lemon and carve it so that you get some of that white pith and then the yellow on this side and carve it with a knife straight down all the way around, boom. And then you can twist it and it'll hold that twist better. And when you do that, it zests out all the little packets of awesome explode and leave a nice aroma around it. Packets of awesome explode. Mm -hmm. And that, it's like uh, sugar in the raw, but instead of sugar, zestiness. Nice. Yeah. I like it. There you go. That's the Rusty Nail. Question of the day. I haven't seen one come by, so huh. they're slacking. Really? What the heck? Are they just talking amongst themselves? They are, actually. Huh, cool. All right, well, that's good. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Do you prefer blended scotch or single malt? Oh, uh, this question. Single. Blended scotch or single malt? What is your choice? Single? Single? Why? And I have a guest that wants to come on the show. Really? That is like a master of scotch. Really? And then when I come on the show and teach us about like all the differences in, in malts and stuff like that. Why aren't we doing that right now? Because uh, we're not. I don't know. Because he's actually... Because you're actually, a rusty nail. No, because he sent me a message saying, hey, you going to the cocktail conference in Boston this weekend? I didn't even know one existed. Oh, no. It was good. awesome, too. It has like all this stuff going on. I'm like, I can't make that. I had two days notice. And it was like mm. a couple hundred bucks. I needed to set up. You know, mm. I can get, get in there cheaper later. Sad, sad face. But next year. It's the first year. So okay. we got to watch out. So if you're in the Boston area... Look for, oh, I don't even know what it's called. Just put Boston Cocktail Conference. Maybe you'll find it. Maybe. I personally love the Dalwini. Why does she have a smile on her face? Because she's going to say something about you and your nipples. The, the, uh -huh. Really? I don't know. What are you know. talking about? Well, you, you know, have like that look like you're ready to switch it up. with Highland sort of, Park. Highland Park. Highland Park. For um, Solid. Dalwini, did you already say that? Dalwini. Love the Dalwini. Um, and uh, uh, Oven. Those Salerno are my top blend. Three. Salerno. Who makes a Salerno? Is it Glenn Fittish? I honestly don't know. 15 year, 16 year Salerno, Salerno the way they, they, they you do the thing with the, where they take the, the barrels and you pour the whiskey into the next one and all the way down you keep a, the ages by putting each, you pour them into the, you know what I'm saying? Take the young stuff, you pour it in the old stuff, take the old stuff and pour it all the way down so it mm -hmm. blends in there. Mm -hmm. Salerno blend. Sure. But it's all, I think it's still single malt. Single malt. Right. Why do you like single malt better? You don't like the, the fact that this is mixed with younger... See, it says 12 years, but yeah. all that necessarily, unless unless it's completely different than every other type of bourbon whiskey type uh -huh. thing, uh -huh. that means that's the oldest whiskey, or oldest scotch within this bottle, but the rest of it could be three years. I, I like the, um, the overall characteristic and complexity that the single malt brings. Like a wine. Yes. You can all, and each one's going to be a little different. Boston yeah. Cocktail Summit. Boston, how do you know this? Chat room knows it. The chat room! They're awesome. I don't have to do anything. I'm going to sit here like a vegetable. Boston Cocktail Summit. That's what you want to talk about if you're in the New England area uh, because it's it sounded like a really good time. And next year I'll be there. And maybe if we could get fans, we can all meet up and drink in Boston. Sounds like an idea. Next year I should have double the fans. So. <laughs> Sounds like a great idea. Yes! We're on it. Next year, 2013. Yep. All right. EverydayDrinkers.com. Everyday what? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> EverydayDrinkers.com. There we go. We're teaching you how to drink. He's gonna get buzzed and ask to shave your beard. <laughs> <laughs> Who? I'm guessing they're talking about Justin. Oh. Uh, um. That's got watermelon. Can I shave your beard? <laughs> I already shaved it down today.
I'm not shaving anymore. It'd be gone. It does. It looks nice and true. Oh yeah, you didn't go yeah. with the you didn't go with the mountain man slash rapist. No, no, because I watched some of the episodes from last week and I was like, I look like shit. <laughs> <laughs> I do look like a rapist. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, holy crap! That's really the last time that I get off work and just show up. <laughs> 